Vanya, five years ago. So there was actually a comic book about them, which was also in the X-Men universe, at least in Logan and Deadpool. People ain't coming anymore. No more book writing stuff for her. I want to know her deal. Like, there had to be a reason she did it. She seems like a good person. I don't think she would have, like, done it knowing the aftermath it would have caused unless there was a reason. The last episode, she made it sound like it was definitive. Like, oh my god, dad was murdered. It doesn't appear to be that definitive. Is she capable? She was probably created by Reginald. Therefore, she is capable of anything he is capable of. This is such an interesting house. Did somebody on the show hear me the last review? Because I said they needed to have a story and now both of them are in this episode's story. It's almost like they knew they needed to build these characters up. Is she restraining herself? Or is she like programmed to not say certain things? Only one strip of bacon, worst mom ever. Bacon is the most important meal of every meal. I almost feel like this dynamic is unneeded. It almost feels like it's just thrown in there unnecessarily. I hope that amounts to more than that because every show's got that like, that little cop connection like, oh, my best friend's a cop like in Daredevil or oh, my ex-girlfriend's a cop. It happens a lot and I, it's, it's kind of getting in the way. I want to just see crazy superhero stuff, but maybe it'll amount to something more. Right now it's my least favorite part of the show, but not horrible. Is she being horribly mean or highly critical and trying to help her? Like some people really are just like tough love. So I don't know. I don't necessarily think that was all on mean, but I could be just a crazy person. Aha! Did they have a high tolerance of pain or something? See, they're very secretive about Allison and Luther's stories. Why is Luther still so big? I want to see, like, not that I want to see Luther naked, but I want to see him without a shirt on, so I get it. I want to see, like, what is making him so large. Because it's only his upper torso. She went to find Leonard. I don't trust Leonard. You guys know that. He even has like a sinister, like he looks like your typical, like, I'm not here to hurt you guy, but he's like the worst, creepiest guy that has 20 women tied up in his basement. Maybe he's one of the 43 kids. He's around her age. Maybe he's one of them that didn't get got by Reginald. And Ben doesn't look too much younger than Klaus, so he must have died fairly recently. Is he hitting on the waitress? This is adorable. It's something as silly as this can make me love Hazel. Even though he just murdered the tow truck guy and doesn't care about anybody, he seems to have a heart for donut ladies. Now, do the future assassins know of the Umbrella Academy? How far in the future were they?
How do they not know that Ben is there yet? How do they not know, like, Klaus's ability? Like, they gotta know he's there. Or does Klaus keep it a secret for some strange reason? Like, it don't make sense. And there's mom watching the whole thing. And don't forget, she, they just said she was programmed to protect them at, no, at whatever cost. Yeah, which is why he programmed something to love you. Like, he needs to have, you need to have some love so the dad programmed her to love. I get what he's saying. There could be like an exit protocol or something like that. I still think it's Pogo. Pogo always has a, not a sinister looking grin, but he always has like a sideways look. Like, everything's for a reason. He showed Alice in the tape. We already know he knows a lot more than he's letting us believe. See, Luther is skinny back then. Like, Luther's like a skinny little guy. Why is he so large now? Granted, he's older, but still. I feel like he got hurt and he has a suit for some reason. I don't like, I don't think that's muscle. But he's always doing push-ups. He's always doing push-ups. Something had to have happened. Because we even saw him adult, I'm pretty sure, at the beginning of this episode. And he was just muscular, but something is making him enormous. Vanya always playing the violin. Is the violin her ability? Is music the, the power or something? She's always playing the violin. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. I'm assuming that's why he's on drugs and everything. That would make the most sense. And there's, I guess there's no way to know otherwise, but... He's got a reason to be doing drugs. It probably suppresses visions and voices and everything else. That is pretty horrifying. They immediately just go nuts. It's that? Is that? That's all you gotta say? You hear freaking machine guns firing and you like are you're a warrior and you don't like immediately run? What are these masks made of? Oh, at least they all could fight. I wasn't sure if Allison knew how to fight. So Hazel's strong? How about we go for some subtlety here, Cha-Cha? Jesus Christ. She just goes and guns ablaze and it doesn't even like target anything. Just shoots everything up. Hasn't hit one person yet in friggin' three episodes. These are the worst superheroes ever. It took her five minutes to come downstairs. Klaus doesn't know anything's going on. Cha-Cha is pretty good. She could take on two of these guys at once. Their arms would be so beat up from those blows. Oh shit, right in her ass. 
Hazel's pretty big. I guess they're not strong enough. Oh god, Zangief. Oh man. Hazel's got some power, man. I did not think Hazel was that strong. Damn it, Hazel don't even look like he's f messed up. Is it, is it? I'm assuming he has some sort of shield on her or something. Some sort of body armor. So he really is flesh? And why is he so hairy? What is happening? What? Is he like a wolf man? Like, why is he so hairy and beat up? And why all of a sudden does he sound like a giant when he's walking? Did he like it get bigger? That's very odd. She just sat there the whole time. Did she get shot up? What is on the pillow? Does the pillow have like a message sewed into it? What's it say? I knew it. Something stitched into the pillow. What is it? A message? Because she's been playing with it the whole time. Just an umbrella. A piece of the pie? What is that? They looked like a piece missing from like a pie. This is sad, even though she's not real. It's like she's trapped in her own mind, but she's not even real, so there is no mind to be trapped in. I know he obviously cut her open, but what is he doing? Is he shutting her down? Well, this is sad. I guess he's shutting her down because she can't feel nothing anymore. Remember what? Remember her, or is this a, like a secret to something? Well, I guess that's it for Mother. I guess Mother doesn't have a crucial role in the end. Unless someone turns her back on. Why, is he assuming they got there because of her book? That's not the case, Diego. Diego's getting me to hate him again. He lashes out for no reason. He's, he was riding the wave. He's doing good. He just lashes out for no reason. He's got a hot temper. But she is. She is the magic violin player. She's going to start shooting beams with it. He looks so ridiculous. Like, why does he look like that? It's like all scarred up. I mean, granted, on top of the fact that he's abnormally large, why is it scarry and hairy? Like, why? and why wouldn't he shave that? Or is it like... 
the Santa Claus with Tim Allen where the hair grows insanely quick so he can't control it. She knows this guy for a day or two. Leonard's bad news, guys. I know I keep hounding you that something's wrong with him, but everything is like foreshadowing that he's going to ruin Vanya or like try to hurt her or something. And this guy with his donuts. He earned his donuts. He took down Luther and he's like got like a beer belly. She got a knife in the buttocks. They found a lot of info out. That was not a loss. They got a lot of info on that job. What are they kidding me? They found a school of kids with powers and one of which turns into a Jekyll and Hyde looking monster. Or doesn't turn into, but. Well, that was cool. Finally showed Luther's abilities. They actually did play around with Allison too. We saw they are both fighters. We see why Allison doesn't use the rumor power now, which explains it. She was literally, that's pretty dark. She was using her ability to shut her kid up. That's pretty dark. That's like you're fucking with your child's emotions so you have sanity, not I don't have any children. But I understand people say, that their kids never shut up when they're little, but to use and manipulate their emotions, that's pretty dark. Luther showed what finally he is, but it wasn't a suit. But why is he like that? Why is he hairy? Why is it like scar tissue looking stuff? I definitely think something's up with Leonard. Ellen Page is being way too emotional and running to this dude. I think he's bad news. Number five, in love with his mannequin, doing his thing. He's basically surveillancing the doctor from the place, but nothing really much happened with him. And then we got Klaus and Ben, who are kind of tied together. Still don't know anything about Ben. Klaus is just still doing his normal Klaus thing, being drugged up all the time. And now we see that he is actually hearing and seeing the dead, and they haunt him severely. Still believe all my theories. They killed Mother. Mother, well, Diego killed Mother. It was more of a sympathy kill. Now she's just like a sad shell of an ex machina type robot. So not cool for her. Pogo wasn't in it much, but we did see him give him more looks. I know he knows a lot more than there is, and we clearly know he knows stuff because he left the tape that showed Mother steal the monocle or take it to clean it, and then Diego took it. They did have a shootout in the end. We see that Hazel is ridiculously strong. If Luther at that size could be taken down by Hazel, Hazel's like a like a big dude, but it's sloppy. Not really very muscular. He's just big. It has like a beer belly, eating donuts all the time. He took down Luther. Mary J. Blige cauterized the wound with the hair roller. In the beginning, didn't even look like the pain phased her. Now she got shot in the butt, but now we did see her hand in a thing of ice and she was grimacing, so she does feel pain. She just has a high tolerance, I guess. So they are clearly stronger people. If you could take on Luther, who's supposed to be, he literally, like I said in the beginning, as a child, threw a man through a skylight. We just saw him throw Hazel like 20 feet, and Hazel is a big dude. So how it is that Hazel took him down? Unless they're not being consistent. I'm assuming that the writing and stuff is being consistent. If not, it would also explain why he, when he fought Diego, he shattered the Ben statue, which is made of solid steel, but he didn't crack a rib in Diego's chest. I don't know. It seems like there's inconsistencies and maybe that's intentional. You guys let me know what you think. Comments down below, like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.